I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some challenge questions on optimization of trigonometric functions. We have a multiple choice question here. A similar question can be seen in AB calculus and IITJ test papers. The question here is rectangle ABCD has AB equals to 2 meters, BC equals to 4 meters. Find the maximum area of rectangle that can be circumscribed over the rectangle ABCD, right? So this is the rectangle given to us, ABCD, whose dimensions are 2 centimeters by 4 centimeters. We want to maximize the area of the rectangle which circumscribes the given rectangle. Four choices are given to you. You need to find out the right answer. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So what I have done here is, since this is a very common question for uh, many tests, I have a general solution for this kind of question. So we'll look into the general solution and then get back to our original question. The diagram is not all that good, but let us say we have this ABCD as our rectangle of length L and width W, which we need to circumscribe with another rectangle and we want to maximize the area of outside circumscribing rectangle. So I hope the question is clear. So it is given a rectangle ABCD of length L and width W, so it's a general solution, find the maximum area of the rectangle that can be circumscribed over the rectangle ABCD. Right? Let us see how to solve such a question in general. So now let us assume that these sides are, uh, let's say this is A, this is B, and uh, let's say this is C, and uh, we can take D as this. Okay. So D will also be this, right? C plus D. So if I'm taking this as C, that will be C. Okay, now let's consider that uh, the angle which circumscribing rectangle makes is theta. So if this is theta, then that is 90 minus theta. So this will also be theta, correct? So that is going to be angle theta. Now if you look carefully, we can write A, B, C, D, all the sides of circumscribing rectangle in terms of angle theta. Let us see how. Now, this one is a right triangle, the smaller one here. Here, A can be written as what? A is side opposite to theta, and therefore, it could be written as W sine theta, correct? So, A is W sine theta. C, in this particular triangle, will be W cosine theta since C is the side adjacent to theta, right? So C will be W cosine theta. If you look into the other triangle formed, we can say that this theta, side opposite to theta is D, is a right triangle with hypotenuse L and therefore D could be written as L sine theta since d is opposite to theta right so it is l sine theta and b can be written as l cos theta now what is area area of bigger triangle the outer triangle as a function of theta can be written as a plus b times c plus d right now, opposite sides are congruent in a rectangle. Therefore, we could write this as C plus D. Now, what is A? A is W sine theta. So, we'll replace this with W sine theta plus B is L cos theta times C, which is W cos theta plus D, which is L sine theta. 
So we get the equation in terms of theta. We can apply the distributive property, w times w is w square, and we get sine theta cos theta. And then wl sine square theta. L times W is, let me write down here, LW cos square theta plus L times L is L square cos theta sine theta. Now we have with sine theta cos theta W square and L square, we can take that common. So we have W square plus L square times cos theta sine theta plus in between we have LW is common we can write this as sine square theta plus cos square theta correct now sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so that becomes LW and also you remember that sine theta cos theta could be written as sine 2 theta so what we can do here is, for the first term, I will multiply and divide by 2. And then rewrite the whole expression as sine theta cos theta. And later we'll write w square plus l square. Plus here we have lw, right? Because sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Now in this case, we can write this as half of sine 2 theta times w square plus l square plus l times w. Now we need to maximize area. How do we maximize this area? Now as far as sine 2 theta is concerned, maximum value is 1, right? For sine 2 theta, the maximum value is 1. So we can say for maximizing, sine 2 theta should be equal to 1. That is the maximum possible value. When is that 1? Sine 2 theta is 1. That implies that 2 theta should be equal to pi by 2 or theta equals to pi by 4. So even without using calculus, we can actually solve this question. So for theta equals to pi by 4, we get a maximum value here right so that gives you the maximum value and therefore we can write for maximum area of circumscribing rectangle the value should be a theta pi by 4 so if I substitute pi by 4 here I got half sine 2 times pi by 4 times w square plus l square plus lw right now 2 times pi by 4 is pi by 2. Sine pi by 2 is 1. So what we get here is half w square plus l square plus lw, right? Now, we can take half common. So in the bracket, we get w square plus l square plus 2wl, right? Twice, because we have taken half common. And within this bracket, what do you see? We see that this is half of W plus L whole square. So that is the maximum area, right? So we have a general expression now, which is that the maximum area is half of W plus L whole square. That is the maximum area for a rectangle which circumscribes another rectangle of length L and width W. Is that clear? So clearly, as we have seen here, that is what we get. Now, using this result, we can easily answer any multiple choice question based on this. So we know maximum area is going to be half of length plus width whole square. Now in this case, what is length? 
what we are given here is that the dimensions are 2 and 4. So it is half of 2 plus 4 whole square, which is half of 6 times 6. So you can simplify this. 6 goes 3 times. So we get 18 as the answer, right? Units are, of course, meters square. So option C is the right option. So I hope it is absolutely clear. So you can use a bit of trigonometry to simplify this question and get a general purpose solution. So that helps. So I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you share and subscribe my videos, it'll be good. Thank you and all the best.